What is up YouTube? All right guys, it is time for me to go to Las Vegas. So pretty excited. I've not been there since I was a wee lad. Lad. Do we say lad over here? A wee youngster. <laughs> no, but yeah, so I haven't been in a long time. I'm kind of excited. I'm. Uh, it's a working vacation for me though. I'm going to be working, checking in with my clients and doing all that stuff. Basically, let me show you, uh, give you a little rundown of kind of how I'm prepping for this vacation, right? First off, we're packing. Look at this stack of hats. I'm taking all these hats with me in my little carry-on bag because they don't care. They'll just kind of throw your stuff so they'll crush them. But look at all these hats. You got to have options, people. When you don't have hair, you got to have options. So we got them. And then carry-on bag here. I'm going to fill this up with some snacks and stuff with my camera and stuff in there. But let me show you some of these snacks I got, right? Let me find some good lighting for this. Basically, these are beef sticks, Ostrom. They come in a bunch of different meats. Like those are ground turkey. Here we got like elk and there's like chicken. And basically these are just pure protein, a couple grams of fat, maybe a couple carbs per. This autofocus is terrible. Okay, well yeah, like 1.5 gram of fat, two grams of carbs, 14 grams of protein. So that way we're not snacking on carbs the entire time and falling victim at the airport of getting something bad, trying to stay on diet decently, at least until we get there. So got all my clothes and stuff in here, some supplements, keyboard because it is a working vacation. So lab laptop bag, MacBooks, and everything's in there. I plan on editing and vlogging the entire time. So, vacation stuff, guys. So my ride is gonna be here in a little bit and we are off to the airport. So I'm excited, it's been a little bit since I've been on a plane, like a year. Um, I'm gonna try to get some good footage, guys. I've never traveled and vlogged before. This is a first for me, so we'll see how this turns out, guys. I wanna, I wanna get my trip there, I wanna get a lot of stuff while I'm in Vegas. So uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna try my best to make this good, guys. I will see you, hopefully, in Vegas and maybe a little bit in the airport. <laughs> see you guys. YouTube. It is like five in the morning. I just woke up. Luke's over there. Say what's up, big dog. What's up, buddy? What's up, guys? <laughs> guys, ladies. Uh, so yeah, we are uh, in the hotel room. So yesterday's flight. It. Long story short, we did not get into the hotel until super late, and uh, I was gonna try to vlog some of it, but um, it was like midnight here by the time we even got thought about getting into our room, and that's three o'clock back in Ohio. So yeah exhausted and it's now 5 a.m here so like eight o'clock back in ohio so we got like maybe four and a half hours of sleep and i'm just uh but like you know that internal clock kind of gets to a certain point and like you, you gotta wake up so we woke up today's ohio state michigan game so we're gonna go to the gym get our workouts in because even though we're on vacation that stuff we never take breaks from so we're gonna do that and uh little side note you know how showers have multiple settings you know how they are like you can do like a softer like a harder setting yeah that shower has one setting sandblaster <laughs> <laughs> so that is one minor complaint about the hotel so far but yeah we're gonna <laughs> say a blaster we're gonna go work out and um I'm try to bring this camera with me and see what we can do so uh back yeah. Oh, and you can see too, we got all the hats on display. You never know. When you don't got hair, you gotta have options. I touched on this. This is like wigs, but for me, these are my wigs, if that makes any sense. All right, we gonna kill this, big dog? We are. I'm Let's excited. get it. Vegas, baby. All right, guys, we just hopped in our rental car. Luke's whipping around. He's got the Vegas experience. We, we went luxurious, guys. We're in a Chevy Traverse. Is that uh, what this is? No clue. A Tahoe, one of them Chevy T's. It ain't a Tahoe, I wish it was, though. <laughs> we're in one of them Chevy T's, so yeah, we were driving around Vegas looking for this gym so we can get our workout in, get our cardio in before the uh, before the day starts, so I've had no caffeine. I, don't, I forgot my pre-workout. Man, we're just, uh, and I'm tired. I'm like delirious, so I need something, but let's get it. Is a game changer. Game changer. I gotta That's wake up, guys. Game. We need some here. Extreme shock. Say this is the good one, but what else are they? They have bangs, though. I, I kind of want a bang. Because this has more cap, same amount of caffeine with all of the uh, L, 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 all those words. L, all those words. L, all those words. So extreme. So these RDLs. Are, this is good. This is good. RDL is my favorite RDL. One of the things I love most about working out somewhere you're not used to is that they have a huge variety of machines. 
So what I decided to do, we had been working out for a little while, but I wanted to get some footage of me using some of these machines that are not always available at different gyms. So I was a huge fan of this thing. It was like a bicep preacher curl machine. You load your weight on, it really isolated the biceps. And biceps for me are one of the hardest muscles. I really have, I have, I have a really hard time feeling them. I have a really hard time working them. So stuff like this, when I can incorporate different movements that I actually do feel, I love it. So this was also a seated tricep machine here. Huge fan of this thing. This gym was actually really Really nice. I think the name of this place was EOS Fitness, I believe. They had a really good selection of equipment, huge spacious rooms, and I think the day pass was only like 10 bucks a day, so couldn't really complain. But yeah, feeling those for certain. Huge fan there. Huge fan. <laughs> and then, there we go. Hit him with that smile, big boy. All right, and then we had this one, another seated bicep machine. Check this thing out, guys. If your gym has stuff like this, comment below. Huge fan of this. And one of the coolest things about being out here in Vegas was I got recognized from my YouTube three times while I was out here. You don't know how how weird it is to be in a place, you don't know anybody, then you hear, hey Remington, and then someone comes up and they talk and they say that they follow your YouTube channel and they thank you, and it was just one of the most surreal and humbling feelings. Like, seriously guys, like, I... You don't really think about how small the world truly is and so you travel states away from where you're from and someone knows who you are just by watching goofy videos you post online so for all you guys that give me support and watch my goofy self make the make these videos i appreciate you guys so much more than you even know you know i have people that email me and tell me i've helped them lose 10 pounds 15 pounds or you know they've watched one of my videos learned a new exercise or a new recipe and you know like the, what makes this so fulfilling is that I am impacting people that I don't even ever meet. You know, like if I can change someone's life and I don't even have to really do much other than, you know, spend a little bit of my time making videos. I mean, that's, that's really like my purpose lately, guys. I, I really love being able to help people and, uh, you know, getting, getting thanks from people in person is just kind of icing on the cake. So, well, okay. Anyways, back to the workout. I tend to ramble. You guys know that finished off with some ab exercises here. So just doing some, uh, seated, I don't even know what you do, jackhammers. What, what, what are we calling those scissor hands, Edwards? <laughs> but yeah. And then I always like to finish my ab workouts out with some simple sit-ups and then I'll twist some Russian twists here. You'll see me transition here in a second. Boom. So yeah, I believe this is the end of the workout. So I'm going to get out of here guys. Thank you for watching. I'll be back. All right, guys, we just left the gym. It was a little loud in there, so uh, I tried to get some workout footage. I'm gonna try to do voiceover, but I'm traveling. I don't know how good my equipment is, but we are heading to Whole Foods right now. I'm gonna pick up some snacks and stuff, some healthy stuff. I don't wanna kill my diet while I'm out here. I've done really good so far. Feeling good in the gym, feeling lean. There's no reason, I think, to come out here and wreck my progress. So I do plan on having a couple little cheat meals here and there, but um, for the most part, I wanna keep it as clean as I can throughout the day. So I don't have any protein with me, don't have any supplements really or anything. So we're gonna stop. I've never been into a Whole Foods. So we're going to go in here, see if I can't find some stuff to hold me over, keep me good. That way I have little snacks. I'm less likely to fall off and drive through a fast food place or something. But good workout just now, man. It took me forever to get into it. I didn't get as much workout footage as I wanted. I mainly wanted to show you guys some of that equipment that I've never seen before. Like that stuff was so cool. And I feel like I got a really good workout with some stuff that like we don't have available to us back in uh, our local gym. So that is, that's why I like traveling and trying different gyms out. You find all this cool little stuff. So anyways, we're heading to Whole Foods now and yeah, going to pick up some stuff. So I'll be back. And I'll show you what we got. But so far, I am loving Vegas. Good start to the morning. That four hours of sleep, uh, man, I was groggy. I'm not even gonna lie, but I'm feeling awake now. Sometimes you just gotta power through it. I got to the gym, I didn't wanna work out. I felt like crap, but about three sets in, four sets in, the blood started flowing, the pre-workout started hitting, and uh, man, I feel like a new man now. All right. Have you never been to Whole Foods? You wanna feel like you're just more successful walking in somewhere, go to Whole Foods. <laughs> you glow, <laughs> everybody's glowing. You walk into Whole Foods, your credit score goes up 100 points. <laughs> <laughs> Eminem world that's where we're going big dog that's where we're going that one that's it right yep that's our hotel it looks so much nicer on the outside but you get in and it's kind of a it's a little deceiving all right guys we just got back to the hotel room whole foods i was looking for some snacks there we had to catch this game luke as you can see he's ready for this michigan game i am am i on television i'm on television right you're on television you never know you're gonna be on live tv with Harrington james <laughs> so yeah but we found they had like a uh breakfast like a no, breakfast like a buffet thing right you can kind of get food by the pound pay for it da, da, da. not knowing where i could go really get some food around here i looked up meal prep companies like locally none of them are open on the weekend and that's when i'm here so but i did spend 27 dollars at whole foods i didn't realize it was gonna be that expensive but let me just show you what i got so i got this bowl here i loaded it up with eggs and then we have threw a few whole eggs in there hard boiled is that what these are called hard hard boiled hard boiled eggs hard boiled eggs we got bacon blue cheese there's chicken breast this thing is deep too very deep so 
This was $26, not sure. I think that's like over three pounds. We got chicken in here. Really just a ton of protein. I didn't get any carbohydrates because uh, I don't know when I'm going to be able to, how often I'm going to be able to come across protein. So went ahead and just load it up with as much food as I could. I really want to fill my belly up. I don't know if I'll have time out here to eat every two to three hours like I normally like to. So we're going to eat as much food as we possibly can. So this accomplished that. And then I just also got a kombucha. I'm getting addicted to these things, guys. They make you feel so good and really help with digestion and stuff. The probiotics. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. Get a shower, get some work in, and then I'll check in at uh, whatever we do next. I don't know. We're just vlogging. So you got anything you want to say to him, Luke? Uh, go Michigan, and that's about it. I don't know. <laughs> what is up, guys? We are here in the sports book, and I am like amazed at how many people actually gamble. Like, I don't gamble, I don't know sports. Luke's won quite a bit of money so far, and uh, betting on sports. I don't know enough about sports to bet, but check this out. All of this is just for betting. So, not my cup of tea, but pretty cool. It's my cup of tea. It's, it's my cup of tea. It's Luke's cup. <laughs> so yeah, right now we're trying to figure out exactly where we're gonna go eat. I think we're gonna do sushi, but we're not sure yet. So we're trying to keep it clean out here. Kept the dump, been really good this entire time. And let me tell you, jet lag is a real thing. I'm feeling, we're feeling pretty run down, but we're trying to get, trying to get motivated and good. Um, I'll be back here in a uh, little bit. We'll figure out what we're gonna eat. And hopefully Luke doesn't uh, lose, <laughs> lose all his money. Pardon the wind. We were trying to figure out some shows to go to. And I think tonight we're gonna go to the girls' night out back. Thunder from down under. That just seems like a very entertaining time. I'm just kidding, but I <laughs> had to put it in the video. Just ordered an Uber for the first time ever. I've never actually uh, been in an Uber, but Luke's the Uber expert. Professional. Professional. So yeah, we're waiting on this. This should be fun. Is he calling? Is that what that is? You on the phone with the Uber? Uber? It's actually Lyft. We're lifting. Not oh, Ubering. we're lift. Wait, why are we lifting and not Ubering? Uh, because Lyft was faster. Oh. We got options. We got options here. Yeah, this is the hotel we're in. Uh, we're Casino. We Look Carlo. at this, guys. Toshiba, T-Mobile Arena. I don't even know what they do there, but yeah, I'm a point at it. Yeah. It's like, this doesn't even really do it justice, guys. It does not do this place justice. Like, we're not, see, there's a roller coaster at that hotel. That, when I stayed here years ago, I was a kid, we stayed in that hotel, New York, New York. Crazy. But yeah, this doesn't do it justice. I'm gonna try to get more shots, but uh, yeah. Nightclubs.com. White Hyundai Elantra. All right, that was good. Sounds good, buddy. I'll see you in just a moment. All right, guys, my first ever lift ride with our driver. What's your name, big dog? Mark. Mark. Yeah, this guy. This guy's really cool. Okay. We've uh, we've been hitting it off real well. So <laughs> we've eight, eight seconds, and we're the best <laughs> three best friends that anyone can have <laughs> in Vegas. So yeah, we are heading to the sushi restaurant now. Okay, now sushi way. Oh, it's what it says. Yeah. Thirty-nine hundred Paradise Road. I'll be back at the sushi restaurant, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys, we just showed up at the sushi restaurant here. We are ordering. Now, check this out. We found this place, Sushi Way, all you can eat sushi. And it's just a little past 4 p.m. It's like 4.30, so $26.95 for all you can eat sushi, 90 minutes. I think they're about to lose some money on us. They what do you are, think? They, are. they have no idea. They, know they, they have so. no idea. So, we'll just thank them. We'll, uh, I'll show you guys what's up when we get back. Starting off all you can eat sushi with these four rolls, and this is just the beginning. You excited? I am excited, I'm very excited. Let's get it. All right guys, what is up? This lighting I know is really weird. Uh, we're in a hookah bar now, so we just left the sushi place, all you can eat sushi. Uh, didn't do too bad, I had like nine rolls, right? I could've eaten more, but I sapped. I didn't want to feel miserable. We're gonna go see a Cirque du Soleil show here in a second. So we're killing some time before we meet up with the rest of the uh, family and go. So we're in a hookah bar now, so we're gonna try this out. So this lighting is strange, I don't know how this is gonna work when it comes time to edit this, but yeah, we're gonna try this out. You're the expert, man. What are we getting? I haven't had hookah in years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Uh, you're gonna, how about this? You're reporting live here? She's gonna choose for it. He's a YouTuber, a professional. Oh, you know, have you guys, you guys have smoked hookah before? Smoked hookah. Yeah. I, I have like once or twice. Yeah, I haven't all the times so long. It's been years, but I have. All right, this lighting here is so Something cool. Something that tastes real good that you might, you're gonna think it for it. How about you just surprise us and bring a couple out? Do you guys like blueberry? Uh, blueberry, blueberry. Like blueberry? Okay. All right, give it a try here. Let me know how it is. You gotta give me a review. We gonna suck it all up, big dog. We're gonna have these on there. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Look at that. I can that. never do that. I can never do that. <laughs> but I'll give it the uh, Nathan Whitlatch. <laughs> the, uh, so seal, of seal, yeah. seal of approval. Tastes like tri berry. Tastes like tri, tri berry. Tri berry is what we got. Alright, you want you want to get me? Guys, I haven't had hookah in a long time. Let's see what happens. <laughs> What do you think? Mm. 
I mean, that, that says it all. That says it all. That's just one one gesture sums it up. It's kind of like a middle finger. <laughs> I mean, you, you know what you're getting with that. You know what you're getting with that. <laughs> all right, guys, we are outside of the Cirque du Soleil here. We're ready to go see this show. Check out this dragon behind me. Yeah, he's pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna go in here and check the show out. So it'll probably not be cool if we have my camera, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to see what I can do. So first time ever, so we're gonna see how it is. I'll be back. On our way to pick up the valet. Luke should have this valet waiting on us. Gym time. Finally feel like I caught up on sleep a little bit. Ugh. Here's the thing, you think Vegas is gonna be warm? It's like 48 degrees out here. Brr. Good. Oh man, it's it is. Valet parking. Oh. Valet parking. Here we are. We in here. Dream car, guys. Look at this thing. This is the dream car right here. Ugh, that is nasty. What is that? An R8? Yep, Audi R8. Wow. Goals, guys. Goals. You forgot your LR Janine. Get the LR Janine, bro. I forgot my LR Janine. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Ugh. What is up, YouTube? We just got to the gym here in Vegas. It is uh, day two here, actually. Well, technically day three, but day one, we landed and pretty much just like I went straight to bed. I had a bunch of stuff to do and um, pick people up and coordinate and like went straight to bed. The time change messed with me, guys. I swear, jet lag is a real thing. I am just now today feeling normal and it's, you know, day two. So yesterday, I'm sorry I ended the video abruptly, but um, they wouldn't let you take any cameras into that show and they were taking people's cameras away. So I had to like hide my camera while I was in there and then by the time it ended and then we went out and they would have went out for drinks and stuff. It just uh, didn't have a good way to end that video but today's a new day so we just pulled up to the gym i'm gonna come in here get a workout in. don't know if i'm gonna film any of it yet or not um, we gotta go meet our family for an all-you-can-eat breakfast this morning and then figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day so uh yeah we are outside of the gym now can you see it eos fitness yep so we are gonna get it and then i will be back we're done all right we're back in the hotel room just finished that workout got one of the best Ooh, candid shot hit him with a flex bow just hit a awesome back and shoulder workout that was incredible so getting ready to go to this buffet all you can eat so uh I'll see if I can show you guys what we're having. I'm gonna try not to go too crazy. The downside is, right, so we went to that all-you-can-eat sushi place yesterday and I had a ton of sushi and I, if I do sushi normally, right, and I'm not being too crazy with it, I'll just get like the clean rolls, nothing deep fried, nothing with too much sodium, stuff like that. But uh, yesterday we just went crazy on that sushi. I think I had a total of nine rolls. And today, the downside of working out after, so like yesterday, for instance, I usually drink a couple gallons of water a day. It's a little harder out here. So I had maybe, if I had half a gallon yesterday, I was lucky. I probably only had like a quarter of a gallon, if that. And then I had all that sodium that was in the, you know, I was dipping everything in soy sauce, all the preservatives and stuff in that sushi. Lifted today and I still felt good and I was really strong. I felt full, but man, all my definition was washed out from where the lack of water and all that extra sodium. So keep that in mind. After a cheat meal, when you go into the gym the next day and you don't look as good, it's temporary. So in a few days, it'll wash out and I'll be good, but it's vacation, so I'm gonna enjoy myself. Anyways, I'm a rambling man, so. Yes, we, he is. <laughs> we're gonna go get this breakfast underway and I will be back. Dude, this is dope. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. We're here in this restaurant getting ready to eat for our breakfast buffet and we're just chilling. Look at my breakfast. We had a 10 egg green omelet. We got some hash browns, which were amazing by the way. We got Canadian bacon and I got four sides of toast. Yeah, carved up baby. All right, guys, after we had that breakfast, we decided to stop and get some frozen yogurt. Luke, what, what'd you get in there? What is that? Um, sherbet. One is pink lemonade, one is strawberry, and then fruit on top. Yeah, fruit on top. I'm a fruit person, so. <laughs> a fruit person. Well, fruity. <laughs> fruity. There we go. This is fitting our macros. I know I said I was going to keep it clean, but I ended up getting vanilla froyo, and I got some, what is that, Oreo. We got some cheesecake bites. We got some brownie. And then we also got, what is that, cookie dough in here. So, yeah, guys, I apologize in advance. Don't be jealous. Don't be jealous, but it is vacation, so I seen the for you and I had to do it. Had to do it. So if you're going to win the shoes, you got to, what, so what's the point? You got to take that thing, blow air, because I want those easy boosts right there. That's what I want. You going to win them for me, Luke? $1,250. See, that doesn't look like it's worth $1,250. They look cool, but. I really don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Me neither. What's the point? That says up there. Oh, oh. Oh. You gotta hit that? You gotta roll it up, up, and then when you want it, you hit it. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. I see. That's a waste of $2, but I see. You gonna try it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. You should go after them Yeezy boosts, dude. I feel like that's an easy win. Are right, you going after the Yeezys? If you win them, I get one of them. 
There we go. Oh, that stuck. <laughs> oh, you almost had that. <laughs> They're making their money on you, big dog. Wearing jeans like that, you better have enough uh, here to play this all day. <laughs> oh, did you get it? I'm terrible, no. No. We don't want to waste our money on it again. <laughs> we got a crowd going. They want to see you win. That is. Oh. All right, well, we done? We're done. All right. <laughs> no win. I feel. You feel what? I feel like that's rigged. Rigged? I feel like that's rigged. I feel like I let go and then it went up like another quarter of an inch. <laughs> what is up YouTube? Okay, uh, this has probably been the, uh, the the most confusing vlog you've ever watched from me. Just considering that I have not been able to film like I wanted to. This has been one of the most hectic vacations I've ever been on. We scheduled a ton of stuff and you know it's a family vacation so we have, we're bouncing between things and um, I just wasn't able to really take the time to stop and film. So it, vacation's over. It is uh, Monday and we are getting ready to. I'm packing all my stuff up right now. I gotta get the laptop packed up. Luke's in the shower. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the airport and we're gonna be heading back. So the craziest thing is like, it took me literally like today, right? The final day of vacation is the first day I actually feel well rested. You know, the jet lag actually is like gone. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy. So I learned a lot though. I learned a lot about this vacation. I learned that if I'm gonna go vlog, I have to have my own schedule. I can't stick to anybody else's schedule but my own. And uh, this vacation was literally not even 2% my schedule. It was everybody else's schedule. So I learned a lot. Lessons learned. I apologize. This wasn't a very interesting vlog, but um, you know, I did have fun here. Next time I'm gonna do it way bigger, way better. So thank you so much for your support. As always, I appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Look forward to awesome content coming as I return from vacation and I start this carb cycling stuff and I continue vlogging the way I have been. And uh, you know, I'm gonna continue to put out good content for you guys because you guys are who support me, who matter most, and uh, everything I do is because you guys make it possible. So thank you so much, and uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I will talk to you later. Thank you so much, and yeah, see you here soon.